All right, man. Next project is my man Kill the Artist. Uh huh. With one nine hundred hustler. Brought me back to the this right here is ten tracks long, thirty four minutes in entirety. What y'all think, man? Like I said, right? I was watching that Everest commercial. <laughs> I can't take it serious, so I don't even look to the left. Yo, Bane. <laughs> you, you fuck with Kill, though, right? Yeah. yeah that dog. It kills like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Throw it up. <laughs> so, nah, the commercial, the Everest nigga talking with the hat on in the yeah. parking lot. Yeah. Kill did that whole visual for the whole shit. Yeah. And I love that shit because. Like, that's what he was, like, theming it after. Like, you know, one nine hundred how's the call if you need to get it off? Pause. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, 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 and you was the sucker that applied for Everest and shit. Well, right? yeah, I would have called. Yeah, you went one, to Everest and shit. I would have yeah. called, yeah. Just I, tell I, the I, niggas I, you went to Everest. I went to Everest. Yeah. I, I signed up. <laughs> he went yeah, to I, Everest, I finished, nigga. though. Yeah, you, know you finished? Yeah, I finished, oh, nigga. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't get a job or none of that like they said. The Bill little Romeo lied. come to your yeah, fucking yeah, vacation. Nah, uh, but in like fact, graduation. But in fact, Everest getting sued. Lil Romeo was false fire credits. <laughs> Them niggas were giving out fake credits. Some niggas like, yeah, uh, yeah, we're accredited by the board of non-accredited looking, schools. They was, yeah, they was looking at you like, yeah, you get uh you get full credits. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah and you, yeah, you get two. <laughs> Yeah, nah. So they was wild over there. <laughs> I was a sucker, but yeah, the, the, but this tape wasn't for suckers, bro. I thought this shit was really for hustlers. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel like he's talking to hustlers, like, and Kill always does that. And like, yeah, mm-hmm. and and you can tell Kill loves Jay Z. Yeah, he's a Jay Z baby, bro. Like he he ain't nothing he, wrong with he that. He grew up in that era, you know that Rock La Familia, you know Reasonable Doubt. You know what I mean? Hard knock life era. Yeah, like when I hear him and Billy, yeah, I hear the firm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, the firm was like anti Jay Z kind of, but you yeah, know. yeah, yeah. But it's still from that same that same era. That same that era, same era. Of rap. It's that voice, yeah. nigga. Them niggas got that. They have a very similar voice. They have yeah. a very similar cadence. Um, what, what was your favorite record on him? Damn, I got mad records on him. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like the I like a lot of it. Pause. You know what I mean? Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I don't know, man. What was your favorite record on here? Um, I would have to say Wallabies, man. You know I love Ghostface, Yeah, Ghostface. You know what I mean? Shout out Wallabies, man. Nah, Um, nah, nah. Know the Ledge with Billy. That was my shit. Okay. That's a good one. That's definitely a good one. That was a good fuck. That was a great record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, their tandem is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't... I don't know if they're related to something because them niggas sound very similar, bro. It's kind of it's kind of hard to like distinguish the two when you I'm hear sure them like, on record. He's probably like, yo, talk to this bitch for me, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, yeah, it's me, kill. What's up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like same voice. Them niggas sound like yo, they, they sound play, very similar, but they play it different. So yeah. it, it works. I like that shit. Pause. Nah, I, I, <laughs> I like. <laughs> yo, you ain't gotta pause everything, my nigga. No, I feel like after liking something, it's like you know something that's not. <laughs> From a woman, it's like, damn, it's like, I like, think you like that shit, right? That's why you gotta pause. What I like about this this project the most was really the theme of it, right? The one nine hundred <laughs> hustler theme, right? Like, you know, you got the skits, you picking up the phones, and you got people on the phone and things of that nature. You know, a lot of projects don't go this route no more. They don't, they don't, they don't have skits. They don't have, you know what I mean, like a whole theme from start to finish. And even if they try to have a theme. They might think they have one, but like in reality, like there's nothing that kind of glues it together. Yeah. And um, I think he did really well on this, man. Like the one nine hundred hustler theme with, you know, all the niggas that he actually does music with: Goose De Niro, Billy Escobar, things of that nature, man. I right. yeah, I, shout out to Goose. Man. Yeah, 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 shout out Goose De Niro, man. Yeah, Kilsman. Kill's been steering the ship when it comes to fearless, dog. When it comes to this rap shit. When it comes to the real bars. Yeah, yeah. When it right. comes to the real bar shit, right. like he's, I feel like he's steering the ship. He's constantly, we rated, I don't know how many Kill Project. This was like maybe the second or third? I think, I thought it was third. But was it the third? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I feel like I'm always listening to Kill, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, man. So without further ado, man, let's talk about what we gave this, man. So, out of five red cups, we gave my man Kill the Artist 4.8. Out of five red cups, man. Shout my man Kill, man. You killed that shit. 
No pun intended, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs>